So that's about 20 minutes laughing at Billy doing his nuts. Then we get him to the hotel, shower, shave, get him dressed, then shove some food down his throat, and church. Sweet ass. Hey, you got the rings? What time's his alarm set? 7.30, meaning that we've got time for a fry up. Spanking. <laughs> Hello? You mu I need help. Get off. I'm not a nutter. I mean, come on, look at me. Hey, do I look dangerous to you, eh? I wasn't exposing myself. There was this dog. A dog? What sort of dog? I don't know. It's just a mutt. Look, I, I woke up. I didn't know where I was, and, and there was this dog. It jumped up, grabbed me under crackers, and yanked them down. What happened then? Well, it just ran off. Look, I wasn't flashing. I don't go around showing my bits off. Now, come on, you've got to let me out. I'm getting married today. I'm concerned about this dog. Would you recognise it again? I, I didn't really look at it. Want me to set up an ID parade, Sergeant Tusk? Better hard, Lance. Haul in the usual suspects. There's a poodle over Walthamstow. I've got form as long as your arm. Look, forget the dog. I am getting married today. The dog is not important. Sir, there's a rogue canine roaming the streets, pulling down pants. It's a serious matter. It's got to be stopped. <laughs> I know what this is. Yeah. I'm having an anxiety dream. Yeah. It's like when you're running down the road with no clothes on and everyone's laughing and pointing at you because you get your driving test the next day or something. Yeah. Yeah, that's what it is. It's just anxiety. I'm going to wake up in a minute. I'm dreaming you. My chubby little friend, you are just a horrible, horrible dream. Hey! You can't do this to me. I'm getting married. My phone call. Hey! What about my phone call, hey? Well, some sort of security guard you are. I gave you 50 notes to keep an eye on it. I think you're overlooking something really obvious. Yeah? Alien abduction. Happens all the time. Government's got secret files. Oh, no, Phil, 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 come on, come on, calm down. It's far too early for casual violence, eh? Look, you couldn't have got far, eh? We've got ages yet. Hello? Ben! Ben, thank God it's you. Listen, look, it's Uncle Billy. I need you to do something for me, Ben. I need you to phone your dad. I I'm in Leighton East, Nick. Whatever you do, don't say anything to Nanny. Don't say anything to anyone else. Just please ring Phil, Ben. Please ring your dad for me, please. OK, I'll do it now. Bye. Uh, who are you calling? No one. Well, give it here. Don't even messing about with that. But what are you phoning your dad for? Just to say hello. You can say hello to him at the church, can't you? Now go on, go and get your suit on quickly. We don't want to be late, do we? Oh, well, I'll say one thing for you. You do scrub up very well. This is a big day for us, Peggy. Mm. My family, your family, baby coming soon. 
Happy times ahead. Yeah, and lots of them, eh? You nervous? No, not one tiny little bit. <laughs> Passionate policing, this is. Very lenient, seeing as how you assaulted and insulted a police officer. I did not assault him. He patted his cheeks and he called him chubby. Look, I said I was sorry. Look, can we get a move on? I'm trying to get married yeah, here. I'll get you home. Stop agitating. Hey, where are you going? Sorry, pal. Just tear up at the precinct. You're on your own. Blame for losing him. Well, look, we haven't lost him. It's just that we haven't found him yet. Shut up, Gary, will you? No, I'm just trying to be positive, all right? Ben! For goodness sake, this isn't the time or place. And I'm not having it ringing in the church, neither. Phil, what are you doing here? What's gone wrong? Billy's, uh, torn hole in his socks, Peggy. Yeah, didn't cut his toenails, tore a big hole. We've got to go and get him another pair of socks. Give me strength. We'd well, better be there on time. <laughs> we'll be. Of course we will. Good work, son. We are cooking on gas, eh? How brilliant was that lie I just told? Out of nowhere, thinking on my feet. Bosh. Now shut up, Gary. Your carriage awaits me, Lee. Cardiac. You escaped from some sort of hospital or something? Oh. Minty, you're an angel. You're sent by God. Who? Hey? You're gonna be the hero, mate. You are gonna save the day. Any 
Any minute now. Yeah, they're coming round again. What you looking at me for? Go round again. They're on their way. There's been terrible traffic. <laughs> Gary! You complete plum. Now, I've got Billy here. I'm getting him a suit and some shoes. And a ring. I need a ring in case Phil ain't now. Yeah, all right, all right. Now, listen, when you get this message, get straight up the church. Me and Billy will be up there in, what, about 20 minutes, all right? Right, where's his suit? Here you go. Who's his that? No, miss. I can't wear a bird suit. Why, why can't I wear yours? Because he all drowned in it, mate. Well, what about Gary's? He's wearing it, ain't he? Now, this is the only suit in the house that'll go anywhere near you. So, put it on. Now, what size shoes you take? Nine. Ah, perfect. Same size now. She's got whopping great plates for a girl. I'll have a scout around in her room, all right? What for? Stilettos? Gonna send me up the aisle just like a tranny? No, she's bound to have some sensible flat shoes for work, isn't she? Why in the galleys will be like flippers on you? Lindy, we're gonna make it, aren't we? Yeah. So long as you get your finger out. Now, get dressed. <coughs> she's coming in. Round and round in circles. Billy will be here any minute now. The car might have broken down. Or an accident. Oh, lovely, Mo. That's really reassuring, isn't it? Look, honey, I won't worry. Billy will probably charge for any minute now. Yeah, he'll be here. I know. Oh, look at that little face being all brave but breaking our heart. I'm not breaking my heart, Auntie Caroline. I'm bursting for a wee. Can I use your loo, please? He better not stand her up. Not a chance, mate. Oh, man, he's in love with that girl. Might change his mind and do a last-minute runner. No, don't start. Well, he might. Tack it in. I know, Billy. There's no way he'd stand that girl up. <coughs> Never. Oh, no. What you call this, then? Look, I'm going to make a little phone call to Phil. He'll have it all under control. <laughs> switched off. Yeah, I knew something was wrong. Feeding me that cock and ball story about holes in socks. I could swing for you, I really could. Now you listen here. If you don't phone me back and tell me what's happening, so help me, when I get hold of you, I'll skin you alive. And you can tell that stupid Billy I'll have his guts for garters. Everything's fine. They're on their way. Peggy. What? We heard everything. Oh. Oh, right. So, what exactly is the problem, Peggy? I don't know. But I have every confidence in my son, Phil. <laughs> oh, yeah. Sounded like it. <clears throat> right, then. Well, I suppose the best thing we can do is wait. Well, perhaps we can all use the time for a little spiritual contemplation. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's a good idea, Reverend. <laughs> I can't go like this. Why not? Because I look like Shawaddy Waddy. No, you look, uh I catch in. Right, now, take this, stick it in your pocket. It's going to have to do for now. Oh! oh! No. No, please tell me that this isn't true. Minty, find someone. The fire brigade. Phone the fire brigade. Firemen will come and rescue us. Oh, phone's in the other room. No, 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 no. What's your head made of, eh? 
no, no, concrete. No, no, I'm not having this. I am not having this. Right, run at it, break it down. Go this door's solid, it ain't going nowhere. Yeah, well, you're a big hefty bloke, and you? Oh, always with the hefty, always with the big. Can't you be nice? Just run at it. You run at it. All right, I will. Get out of the way, then. Well, you won't shift it. Won't I? Won't I? The woman I love. My unborn child. My whole life, my whole world is behind that door. I'll shift it. I'll batter it to splinters. Now move! Somebody up there hates me. You know what? This may not be too bad. I mean, think about it. They released Billy ages back. They took him home. He'll be in the church and married by now. I'm the best man, Gary. I've got the rings. And I'm in a cell because of you. How is it because of me? I didn't hit that bloke, did I? It was you. Yeah, and why did I hit him, eh? Because you're a stupid player of Billy's stupid stag night. I don't know why I listen to you in the first place. Ah, oh, well there you go. Then all this is definitely your fault, ain't it? Because you shouldn't have listened to me, should you? You should have been more responsible, more mature. Meaning that all this, Philip, is down to you. So how'd you like them apples, eh? Shut up, Gary. You always say that, don't you? Shut up, Gary, shut up, Gary. I mean, why don't you change the record button? Shut up! Look, what's the shut, shut up? up? Oh, who shut you up? Do you understand? Feeling calmer, are we? Right, we go. Yes, yes, thank you very much, officer. Yes, thank you. I, uh, I hate to say this, but I've got a funeral to take care of this afternoon. They're bringing a male voice choir to sing Bohemian Rhapsody, and I'm afraid it's going to take a fair amount of time to set up. I see. Thanks. Good song. Yeah. I'll kill him. I will. I'll hunt him down and hang his head on a wall. When I've done with him, I'll do for your oath of a son and all. My son's not an oath. <laughs> not much. The old lot of you is shifty. Uncle Billy, sit there. You'd be here if you could. Be there could be something you can't Because he really is it's your family. They get it from somewhere. Oh, you are sailing close to the wind oh, now. Oh, be quiet, Mom. all of you. Shouting and yelling. You're a disgrace. We are in a church. Could you put my music on, please? I'd like to hear it while I'm wearing my dress. Charlie, you got your cab here? Uh, yeah. Right then, well, you can show Flo me home then. I'll take you, darling. No. No, you, Peggy and Auntie Caroline, you can get in the wedding car. And if you're not friends by the time we're back, I'll get very, very irrational. And I'm a pregnant lady, so I must be obeyed. I'm off to find my Billy. Come on, Ben. We're home free. Minty's sorted it. <sighs> Minty? Yeah, back off his jollies in the nick of time and all that. Result. I told you it wouldn't be too bad, didn't I? Well, not for you. Mum's going to disembowel me. You should probably just tar and feather. Well, look, maybe we shouldn't go back for a bit then, eh? Maybe we should wait until they're worried about where we are. Then when we get back, they'll be pleased to see us. Will you shut! Just get in the car. I trusted Phil. And him and Gary, they locked me up in a warehouse full of beds. Well, I suppose that's my fault as well, isn't it? For having rubbish mates. I'm cursed, I am. Cursed with rubbish mates. Well, I suppose I fall into that category as well, do I? Well, what sort of gibbon doesn't have a turny handle thing on the inside of their bathroom door, eh? Well, that's lovely, that, isn't it, eh? One minute I'm a hero and a saviour, and the next I'm a gibbon. Well, thanks very much, mate. Do you know what? There was no problem with this door handle until you come into this flat. Because until you come into this flat, no one slammed the doors in here. You talk to me about rubbish mates. I haven't heard anything from you about, oh, hello, Mince, how are you, Mince? We enjoy your holiday, we missed you, mate. 
Nothing about how I've dropped everything to help you out. I haven't even had a cup of tea yet. I don't even get a thanks for trying. No, what I get is I get head-butted, called hefty and gibbon, and get half a bloody ceiling on me, bonds. Do you know what I'd like to stick this where the sun don't shine? Rubbish, mate. She's got some brass neck. Do you think I don't love her, Mitch? Of course she won't. She'd be standing there in her dress on her own. Me not there. And what's going to be going for her, eh? Oh, come on, ease up, Bill. Look, she knows you're bonkers about her. You just have to explain. No, no, you don't understand, Mince. I can't have her having doubts or, or having worries, you know, not even for a few minutes. I can't have it. I can't stand here and have her worried. Yeah, yeah, Bill, what are you doing? You're never going to fit through there. I've got to find her. I've got to find her and tell her that I love her. Right, well, at least they're not back yet. I mean, it gives us a chance to get a couple of lagers down us and make a story up. Oh, uh, you only make things worse. Phil, relax. Relax? Have you ever had your face slapped by my mum, eh? No, I haven't, as it goes. Well, trust me, it's like getting a plank of wood round and chops. So look on the bright side, all right? I mean, can you even imagine the grief we'd get if Billy hadn't made it to the church? What? It's Minty's bike. Well, look, they've probably got a minicab. <coughs> no, your wedge tight, mate. My ribs are getting crushed. Look, try breathing out. Let all the air out of your body, really. <coughs> oh. Oh. This broke back man in. You. You are such a spanner, Billy. Do you know? I mean, I might as well emigrate now, might I? I mean, I'm never going to hear the end of this. She's going to bang on about this till the crack of doom. Well, that is oh, for you, isn't it? Oh. Hey? All about you. Never mind about anyone else, eh? Hey? Just me, me, me. What's my toothbrush doing on the floor? How was we lying on you? I expected something stupid from that pill at Gary, but you... Oh, thank you very much, Billy. You were my best man, my family. It was a joke, Billy, a laugh. I knew you ballsed it up by wandering off. Don't enrage him. Feels like a human time bomb. And what about Annie, eh? She's supposed to be my missus by now. Yeah, and she would have been if you'd have stayed put like you were supposed to do, you grade A twonk. Hey, hey, don't you turn your back on me. Oh, Billy, go and have a glass of water, do some deep breathing, yeah? Now, I'm going to go and get your suit and you... You want to clean yourself up because you don't want to be making your excuses look like Coco the Doolally Clown. My excuses? Easy, Billy. Come on. Easy? Easy? I'll give him easy. Wait, 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 no, no, wait, wait, wait. You haven't even said sorry. Hello, Billy. Hello, babe. I've been having a bit of a time of it. Waiting for Britain. Come on. Well, go on then. You bunch of gannets. So, uh, you had a nice time, did you? Uh, yeah. Better with the two of us, mate. Well, it's good to have you back, Mr. Peterson. It's good to be back, Mr. Hobbs. Uh, 
I don't suppose you've uh, seen anything of SJ, have you? SJ? No, not hide nor hair. Sorry, mate. Yeah, I can't believe really you kept it quiet about Billy getting nicked. You tell me not to. I think I don't want to get you into trouble. If you're a champion, you are, do you know that? I'm just really good at keeping secrets. Well, no, come, let's get signed away, yeah? Did you get my message? What message? I left a message for you on your mobile last night. <sighs> I don't even know where my mobile is. What did it say? Oh, it just said that I was sorry for shouting at you. I'm sorry for saying you didn't care and throwing a norm bread at you. And how much I loved you. And how much I couldn't wait to see you. I tried so hard to get you. Nearly made it. No, oh, I could tell. You look very handsome, by the way. Dashing. You look breathtaking. Heart stopping. You never thought I'd just leave you there, did you? Not for a minute. Oh, I don't know, Billy. Maybe we're not meant to be married. Oh, no, no. We're meant to be married. Then perhaps it would be better if it was just us. It's always when there's other people involved that the whole thing goes a bit bear-shaped. Maybe we could run away. Long weekend. Do it in secret. Come back surprise everyone. Not after the baby's born. Yeah. Then he or she can be there. You know, I mean, properly there. It'd be perfect if it's just us. It's just us now. Honey. I promise to honour and cherish you. With my body, I do worship. And all my worldly goods, what I've got, is yours. Because you are so precious to me. And forsaking all others, I will love you. All the days of my life. Forever. I do. They're kissing. Oh. <laughs> to happy times. Happy times. Happy times. And many of them. <laughs> Come on. Let's go and celebrate. Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> Can you feel that? A massive kick. Feel it? Yeah. <sighs> I can't wait to get here, can you, Lennon? Neither can I. It's not long to go now, Billy. Not long to go at all. Who are you? Next, here on BBC One. <laughs> Will Billy's luck ever change? Can Honey reverse his fortunes? Share your thoughts at bbc.co.uk slash EastEnders.